Hi everyone, this is Amber Salas with Varsity TV. I want to introduce you to a coach doing some awesome things in our cheer community. Coach Stephanie Reed Neptune is heading into her seventh season with the California All-Stars. In 2023, she learned of a pretty serious cancer diagnosis, but she says it was her cheer family and those lessons of perseverance that helped her push through. I hope you can be inspired by her story as we get ready to start another awesome season. What would you say is the best part of coaching for you? Oh uh, gosh, the best part of coaching for me is the kids. <laughs> I love all the hugs. I love all of their accomplishments. I love that I get to teach them and watch them progress. Um, you know, I used to say, I'll take all the hugs that you want to give me. That's my favorite part. But watching them succeed and pushing them to get better and then watching them graduate high school and knowing I was a part of their start is is pretty big for me. You talk about the love and the family from the California All-Stars. That was something that I'm sure you had to heavily lean on back in 2023 when you learn of a cancer diagnosis. Walk us through, to the best of your ability, that journey and how you were able to stay so strong through all of that. Uh, cancer is nothing anybody ever wants to admit or hear or even go through. Um, unfortunately, I learned of my diagnosis in 2023, uh, and it was a pretty big one. Um, and I didn't know, I didn't know what was going to happen, thankfully by the grace of God and the amazing people in my life and my support system being with the California All-Stars. Um, that was my drive, uh, along with my daughter. I'm a single mom, so I had no choice but to get through it. <laughs> so, um, and it's amazing what your body can do when your mind is like, well, let's go, here you are. Um, and I had to rely on a lot of a lot of people, the California All-Stars, that community entirely, you know, is so giving and so supportive. Sorry. You know, it's hard to accept help sometimes. And when people are so kind and willing, that's really something special. Yeah. Sorry. No, so sweet. That is so special. And all of the rounds of chemo and some of those very difficult moments, how you kind of mentioned there, how did you maybe rely on some of the lessons learned from cheer or even that cheer family to really help you push through in some of those most difficult moments? Yeah. Uh, I always tell my athletes, you know, you push past the limits that you think you have and you never give up. Like always, there, you think that there's limits that you have and you, you are able to push through them if you just put your mind to it. Um, and I actually wound up being allergic to the chemo. <laughs> and yeah, just that's that's part of cheerleading. You know, you, you think that these skills are unattainable or, you know, getting through a full out after you've already done five is unattainable, but you know, you could do it if you just put your mind to it and never give up. You just can't give up. Life sometimes always finds a way to knock us down, even when it's for sure moments we don't want to go through. But what do you hope your story can tell your own athletes, your own daughter, anyone in the California All-Stars about digging deep and staying strong? Uh, well, at the end of the day, this is cheerleading. And I pray and hope that there's so much more than just cheerleading that we are able to give back as coaches to these athletes, you know, even from their start to their heading off to college, you know, one day. Um, but the perseverance and again, just when life knocks you down, you get back up, you keep trying. Failure is a part of progression um, and, and breakthrough. And there's m multiple, numerous, amazing inventions that have been created just because of failures and trying to get it right and going through it and practicing and going until you got it right and going until you can't get it wrong. Um, so yeah, just I, I guess the major 
thing I would say is perseverance. You just keep going. No matter what rocks are thrown at you, no matter hurt, what hurdles you have to jump, no matter what grief or sadness you have to get through, you know, you can rely on others around you and your support system. Make sure you have a good one and you just keep going. Well, speaking of that perseverance, here you are pushing through, still <laughs> coaching and all of yeah. the awesome things that you're doing. But I have to talk about one moment the super sweet photo of you and your daughter when you both had won the summit this past <laughs> season. Yes. Can you just describe the emotion of that moment and how special it was for you to both share that together? Oh gosh, I'm gonna cry again, sorry. <laughs> you know, it's one thing to see the, the athlete, you know, that you don't even coach win and be so proud of them and watch them just all their hard work come to fruition and last year what this year actually sorry 2024 demi and i she was on my j3 team and i had been coaching that team for the last four years and she had been on that team for the last three years um and we finally were able to get that ring this year it was very very special because the year prior i wasn't able to go i uh obviously had to stay back and stay home and my team wound up getting second place. So it was amazing, but just not that when, you know, and then when I was able to be there in this person in person this past year. We so did it. 